we have learned about density and relative density, but we left with a part which is called the relative density of a liquid. Relative density of the liquid is all about determines the density of the liquids. And the liquid that you may be talking, maybe you may, talk in a, may be talking about kerosene or cooking oil. The relative density of the liquid is definitely determined by following the steps. And this is done by using relative density bottle. Relative density bottle. So the bottle that is definitely used to determine the relative density of the liquid is called relative density bottle. This relative density bottle can definitely be used to determine the relative density of the liquid. How, how does it happen? First of all, you measure the mass of the bottle. Means mass of an empty bottle is measured and it is taken as M M1 or M0. So this is M0. That is mass of an empty bottle. Then after you have measured the mass of the bottle, you have definitely to pour that kind of the liquid into the bottle. Ko ya kwanza kabisa hapa unapima uzito wakale kachupa tu kwanza kakiwa hakana kitu chochote manake empty bottle kakiwa katupu unakapima uzito wake na unauita na unaupa namba ambapo unaweza kaita M1 au M0 whatever the case it is but what matters you have to measure an empty the mass of an empty bottle what next in that bottle pour some liquids those liquid that you definitely you want to determine it is density it is relative density what you have to do is just to put that amount of liquid into that bottle and then you measure that is the mass of bottle plus that of liquid and then it you name as that is the m1 that is the second mass so the first mass is that all about mass of bottle only and the mass the second mass is all about bottle plus plus liquid that definitely you want to determine it is it is relative density. Then after you have measured it is mass, I mean the mass of the bottle and the liquid, what next also you have to clean. You definitely remove that liquid in that bottle, then definitely you clean that bottle. You clean and then you rinse with water so as to become pure as bottle as bottle. Therefore, you pour some amount of water into that bottle. Kwa unayosha ile chupa, unayondoa ile liquid, afu unayosha ile chupa, ukisha yosha ile chupa, unai, unaisuza na maji. Ambapi kiwezekana hatu ukaifuta, unamimina tena maji. Hakikisha, wakati unachukua bottle na liquid, unapomimina ile bottle kwenye, 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 I mean unapomimina liquid ile kimiminika kwenye bottle, baada ya kumimina, ifute, na, ifute vizuri, kwa sababu, endapu taacha liquid nje, kwa mfano kama mafuta ya kupikia, mara nyingi anabaki hata nje. Kwa hiyo, ile naongeza kiwango fulani cha uzito. Kwa hiyo, hakikisha, unapomimina liquid ile, unaifuta ndo unapima bottle pamoja na liquid. Kisha, unaondoa tena kwenye bottle ilu, unamimina pembe na unamimina kwenye chombo chochote kile unaondoa kwenye bottle halafu unaiosha ile chupa ukishamaliza kuiosha tena unaweka yale maji and then you measure the bottle plus water and you call it what we call it mass the third mass now this is what about it? bottle plus plus water now if now definitely you are looking for the mass of the liquid if now you are looking for the mass of liquid mass of liquid you will find this mass of the liquid by taking mass of the bottle plus liquid minus that of bottle that is m1 minus m0 that is mass of the bottle now mass of the liquid now mass of the liquid is taken after you have taken the mass of the bottle plus liquid minus that of bottle so as you may remain with mass of the bottle I mean, mass of the liquid along and then if now you are looking for mass of water mass of water is definitely determines after you have taken mass of bottle plus mass of bottle plus water minus that of bottle so as you may remain with mass of water now that is m3 minus m0 so you may see the mass of the liquid is definitely obtained after you have taken m1 minus m 
nodes means that uh, this is the mass of the bottle plus liquid minus that of bottle and mass of the mass of water is taken after you have taken mass of bottle plus water minus that of bottle this is how it is done and therefore this is what definitely can be used to determine what we call it mass of the liquid and mass of water then from we know relative density is equal now to density of substance over density of water but the substance that we are talking about here is density of liquid over density of water so this is the formula that is definitely used to determine relative density as we know from definition relative density is a ratio of density of the substance to that of water therefore this is what we are going to use therefore from then density of liquid will be equal now to mass of liquid over volume of liquid and density of water will be equal now to mass of water over volume of water but remember mass of liquid but remember mass of liquid density of liquid will be equal now mass of liquid is definitely here that is m1 minus m0 over volume of liquid and remember here density of water will be equal now mass of water is definitely there is definitely shown mass of water is m3 minus m0 M, sorry, this is M2 and this is M2. Sorry, this is M2, this is M2. Now it is the M2 minus M0 over then volume of water. Because when you look at this one, as I said, mass of water will be taken from bottle plus water, that is M2 minus the bottle itself. And that is but mass of liquid will be taken from mass of bottle plus liquid minus bottle. And it is therefore now we are having this one that is mass of liquid. That is M1 minus M0. And then mass of water is M2 minus M0. And therefore, but remember, relative density is given as density of the substance over density of water. But the substance that we are talking about here is liquid. And that is why it is density of liquid over density of water. But density of liquid is equal to mass of liquid over volume of liquid. And density of water is equal to mass of water over volume of water. But definitely we have seen mass of liquid is equal now to M1 minus M0 over volume of liquid and we have seen mass of, of water is m2 minus m0 over volume of water therefore from then from there we are having this one and this one from then we have said relative density is equal now to density of liquid over density of water that is to say it is density of liquid divided by density of water but remember density of liquid we have said it is m1 minus m0 over volume of liquid and then divided by density of water is m2 minus m this one over volume of water but this according to the fraction it is that we say it is m1 minus m0 over volume of liquid times that is the volume of water over m2 minus m this one therefore remember the bottle that we are using the same same bottle that is to say volume of liquid is equal now to volume of water is equal now to volume mathematically volume of liquid and volume of water cancel each other is each other because these are the same and therefore this time this one it is where now you come to say this is now m1 minus m0 is equal now to m2 minus m0 so this is how now you can determine relative density of the liquid now relative density of the liquid will be equal now to m1 minus m0 over m2 minus m0 that is m0 and remember this this m1 minus m0 is mass of liquid mass of liquid but also this m2 minus m0 that is mass of water mass of water so in short relative density relative density of the liquid is equal now to mass of liquid over mass of water mass of an equal volume 
of an eco volume eco volume of water so so in short is all about understanding that uh, the relative density of a liquid is equal to mass of a liquid over mass of an equal volume of water. So you have to find out the mass of the liquid, you divide the mass of the water. Definitely the other things you leave at the air. So this is how now we can determine what we call it relative density. So relative density is all about mass of the liquid over ma mass of water. And this is very important and that is why we are definitely looking at on how we can determine the mass of the mass of liquid and mass of water. From then hapa, tunapokuwa tuna determine kwa sababu kumbe relative density sasitakuwa ni mass of liquid over mass of, of water. Mass of liquid over mass of water. That is how now we can determine relative density. Kwa yo, mass of water is obtained after you have taken bottle plus water minus that of bottle. And mass of liquid is obtained after you have taken mass of liquid minus e, mass of li liquid plus bottle minus that of bottle. And here it is written like this one. And here it is written. Kwa hiyo lazima tu cha muhimu hapa kuzingatia ni kwamba lazima uangalie ni wapi napata mass of liquid na wapi napata mass of water ukisha pata kwa hizi sio muhimu sana kuziandika kwa sababu siku nyingine utapewa zimechanganywa kwamba hii hapa mass of bottle ni tatu alafu mass hapa ya ngapi mass ya ngapi au mass of liquid mass of water ndo imekuwa ya kwanza alafu mass of bottle plus liquid ndo imekuwa ya tatu kwa what is important is this one is this one that is mass 1 minus mass 0 that mass 2 minus mass 1 mass 0 sio muhimu sana muhimu ni kwamba mass of liquid over mass of water and the one that gives you what we call it relative